Well, it's certainly been a very busy day here in downtown uh, Fairfield with the excitement, the beautiful weather and so forth, all to service lots of charitable enterprises. Nice to see the Lieutenant Governor of the great state, as well as Representative Tony Wong here. Tony, of course, being instrumental in pulling this whole thing together. And the Lieutenant Governor uh, coming in to, well, have some pizza, I guess, and some other things. Well, yeah, after, after Thanksgiving, I don't know how much more room there's for pizza here, Dave, but it's it's great to be here with Tony and, and all these volunteers and collecting food and canned goods for the, our needy pantries here in Connecticut. You know, as our economy obviously doesn't get any better, there's more and more demand on food pantries and soup kitchens, and Tony and his organization here are really doing a yeoman's job uh, in trying to tie in a holiday spirit, like a great movie like Elf, and also what's uh, going on here collecting the food, and they seem to be doing a great job here today, so it's pretty awesome to do that. Now they, they really do. Uh, it, it is unfortunately ironic that here it is uh, with the need being the greatest, the state having the most difficult time to fill that need. You no, know, absolutely. You know, I've always talked about collaboration. You know, there are so many folks that think government has to do it all, and we clearly know that not only can't government do it all, but we don't always do it right. And it's great to partner with, uh, with organizations like the Food Pantries, the Alzheimer's Association. And I think probably one of the greatest things is seeing all these young people who are giving up their Saturday uh, afternoon to be here uh, to help folks in need and I think that's uh, that's very warming and, and clearly this is our future and our leadership in the future here well you know talk about our leadership and and uh, getting down to basics uh, representative Wong here is uh, hits the ground running and is very grassroots obviously with his uh, his concerns for the community and this is a great idea to pull everybody together Tony. well I, I really appreciate all of you being here and and Credit needs to be given to Leo Redgate and the Community Theater, and obviously Operation Hope in, in allowing us to participate with them. I think the bottom line is there is tremendous need, as the Lieutenant Governor said, but at the same time, I think in, in doing this, we have brought young kids involved into this process. We have made it an enriching program that benefits people, and I think that is something that is an energy that we at state government need to bring on board, that the enthusiasm, the entrepreneurialism, the can-doism of making everything happen for the people of this state. Very exciting day. Uh, ELF is going to be going on right behind us at the community theater here in just a couple of moments. What people are doing is bringing by non-perishable food items, dropping them off, and then going in to see the movie free. It's a great idea. Many movies are significant around this time of the year. You have a particular favorite? Well, you know, uh, I won't say Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, <laughs> but clearly that's not it. But the uh, Jim Stewart, A Wonderful Life, because uh, I think it embodies hope. It embodies people being down and knowing that there's always good at the other side, and, and particularly in today's times where, you know, we are struggling, we have many people who are unemployed, uh, and uh, the message is there is hope and to hang in there. And there are so many great people like we see here today helping those folks in need, and, and I think that's the great thing of the American spirit. You know, I was going to say earlier that Representative Wong doesn't only help here in the local community, but also has helped us on an international basis. We uh, well, partnered together earlier this year on a backpack program where we sent backpacks full of information and stuff to China for the children who were caught in the earthquake there. So um, we, this is not our first time partnering. So we're international and global in help. And uh, I think that's the great spirit of America and what's really great about these holidays. Well, these days you can't help but be global. Uh, everything is as in doing it local, but doing it globally, oh, yeah, .com, as the case absolutely. might be. Let's go back across time. Have you got a particular favorite holiday memory that you'd like to share you know, I, I, I think uh, just the family side of it, you know, I don't have my parents anymore, but, you know, we go back and we talk about how wonderful it was as a holiday, even though we all complained about being hanging out at the table too long, but it was the great memories there and the ideas and feelings and thoughts that were exchanged. And actually that warms me because when I come to events like this, and we've done a number of them uh, this uh, holiday season, uh, that just gets transmitted by just meeting folks and their willingness to give and stuff. And it really uh, makes you feel good about the human spirit and then the hope that we can help people a lot of this. Very exciting and uh, very poignant. Tony, how about you? Uh, go back across time a little bit. Uh, what stands out, the holiday spirit in your memory? I think Thanksgiving is a very special holiday. It's, it's taking a moment to give thanks for all the wonderful things that we have. And, and we do. We have a lot of great things, despite the difficult situations economically, government-wise. I think we have to take a step back and really realize how truly lucky we are to be in this country, to be in this state. And, and I, I think at the same time as we do this event, what gives me thanks is the fact that we have over 35 young high school kids volunteering, doing things, hanging signs, collecting goods. 
that gives me thanks that we have our future, as the lieutenant governor says. These kids are our future. And for them to be able to demonstrate by being volunteers, by giving, um, I feel good about everything that we have ahead of us. Well, that's a, pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good way to be at this time of year. This is the time for the spirit of giving to really take hold, and these young people do it year-round. So it's not just this season that's bringing out that kind of uh, concern in their, in their minds. Well, it's very exciting indeed. Uh, we are going to be collecting food here and collecting support for various organizations, none the least of which is, is uh, this Alzheimer's uh, Awareness Group. Now, this is, a, this is a group which is very interesting. When you think about Alzheimer's, you always think of older people suffering and so forth. But these are young people who are thinking about it uh, 60 years before they will ever have to think about it for themselves because they've witnessed it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, as I said to the kids earlier, we've been, my family's been touched by Alzheimer's. So we understand the, the disease and the strain that it puts on families. But it also uh, it affects children in their family and what sure. happens. So it's great to see them out here for these great causes. And, I, you know, as, as Tony said, uh, it's just having them here. They're not here just because it's a day to get out of school. This this is a Saturday afternoon. They could be doing so many other things, but they want to be here to help folks. Hey, listen, we're glad that you could be here, too. David, it's great. Thank you. Always great to see you. Tony, continued success. Thank, Thank, you, you, Thank you. And best to you. And we've got more because there are lots of special people, volunteers, and those who are just coming by to support for this very special time in downtown Fairfield today.